How's it going people? Welcome to another review by me. This time, new microphone, so the sound isn't as crap as it was on the last couple of videos. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Anyway, film I'm reviewing this time is Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, yeah, this is the new Terminator film, which uh, retcons, well basically the last three. Uh, so Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation, and Terminator Genesis. Fuck those films. Um, yeah, this film continues from Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Uh, and, if, and we see the return of Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor, which is fantastic. Um, Arnie's back. Um, we have some new characters as well. New, ter new, well, new type of Terminator, which is awesome. So uh, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the story then. So Terminator Dark Fate follows um, on from Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And... Obviously, Sarah Connor managed to stop Skynet in Terminator 2. Uh, her and John did. Um, and so Skynet is no more. But something else has come up. This new thing called a Legion, which is basically Skynet, but a new form. And this, the fate of humans is, the, is pretty much the same. Um, there will be Terminators, and there's a new, new breed of Terminator. They're called the Rev-9 and they are a mixture of endoskeleton and liquid like more liquid metal i suppose or it's like nano but nano things i don't know we can really tell it looks it's black liquid stuff <laughs> basically um and yeah so that's sent back to take out the new leader of the human resistance in the form of natalie reyes's character danny um yeah uh, then uh, obviously she needs a protector, so a protector is sent back in the form of Mackenzie Davis's Grace, and she is human, but she's been augmented, so that means she's got like all sorts of robot gubbins inside of her and a power cell and whatnot, like, and she's super strong, super fast, um, and yeah, so pretty much similar formula to what we have had in a lot of the Terminator films, where it's a cat and mouse thing, so Grace gets um, to. Um, to Danny and they uh, go on the run from the Rev-9 uh, they run into Sarah Connor who then joins them in the fight uh, against this Rev-9 thing and we have a surprise bit where we see an old Terminator a T-800 from the Skynet days who was sent back as an, uh, an assassin and obviously because Skynet was defeated he has no purpose um, but so he, he becomes basically human he tries to be human tries to fit in and just live a, a, a life until he finds well of some well an end basically um uh, yeah so uh so that's where we get arnie way arnie's back um so yeah that that's basically the story um it's about the fights to save danny's character and stop the rev nine basic thing really and I won't say any more there because uh, if I say any more, I'll go into spoilers. So I'll give my basic review now, just saying it's a really good film. I recommend it. I was very surprised. It was it's the best Terminator film since Terminator Two, definitely. Um, which you know might not sound like much because the other three were shit. Um, but it's actually a good compliment. This film is really good. I was very surprised. Tim Miller um, has done a great job. Uh, with this um, and obviously James Cameron had his hand in it as well with the story and you can, it shows um, yeah <laughs> I'd say it's a great film all around I really enjoyed it a brilliant new uh, story in well, continuation of the story in the Terminator franchise and possibly maybe more I don't know I don't know it's um, the, but see how this does <laughs> basically so yeah go see it I think it's good uh, so now spoilers okay Spoilers, been warned. Uh, are you ready? Here we go. So, the film opens up with um, John Connor and um, Sarah Connor uh, after Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So, it's young Sarah Connor and the little young um, uh, Edward Furlong. It's really good how they did it. It looks like young Edward Furlong as John Connor, and they, uh, they are obviously 
out hiding and trying to stay off the grid and stuff like that. But a Terminator comes and finds them, an Arnie Terminator T-800, uh, finds them in the bar and straight up fucking shotguns down John, like John Connor dies at the start of the film. Hence why um, there was like no purpose for that Terminator after that. He su successfully completed the mission, but they'd already destroyed Skynet. So he had come from a future that had been stopped. So quite interesting there. So that was a nice surprise. Um, so yeah, so this is why we have like the continuation of the story with uh, Natalie Reyes's character Danny and the new Legion, um, which it does it it does feel like a bit of a retread with some of the bits of the story. But it's I yeah I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, like I mean the new Rev Nine Terminator is kind of similar to the TX that we saw in Terminator 3 whereas it's like it has the skeleton and the me uh, metal over the top or liquid metal sorry um, but it can split the liquid metal from its skeleton and be two entities at once which is really quite cool because that means you've got like two basically two bad Terminators going at it uh, and they are he, the, the, I can't remember the actor's name um, he played um, Ghost Rider in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, but he's the Rev-9, and he's absolutely brilliant, um, like, really menacing, um, and he, he's very well, uh, like, that Terminator does very well at integrating, so he can talk to people as if he's, you know, human, and that makes it quite interesting, um, kind of like, kind of similar to what the T-1000 was like in, um, T-2. Whereas, like, you know, he could impersonate humans quite well. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's um, that's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, and um, then, like, so Grace and uh, finally comes and, like, gets hold of um, Danny. And i got to say, Mackenzie Davis is fucking brilliant, man. She's really, really cool uh, in this, and she's badass as well. Um, yeah, and so, anyway, yeah, so they meet up and they're on the run. Um, obviously Rev9 comes and impersonates her dad by killing him and then tries to get close to her while she's at work uh, with her brother and Grace shows up, saves them, they go on the run, um, they're getting a mad, mad car chase which you see in the trailer um, and and yeah that's when all of a sudden Sarah shows up like out of nowhere and armed to the teeth knowing that there's a Terminator there and where to find them and doesn't wipe out the Terminator, but, you know, holds it off for a bit whilst they go back on the run. Which is like, all very like, like, how the hell did she know to get there and stuff? Well, it turns out that we find out that she's been being sent text messages, random text messages, um, about the location of Terminators, because Skynet sent several, like, loads of Terminators back to assassinate at different points in time. Um, so, but, obviously, they will continue to show up, even though that future doesn't exist, that they'd already been sent. So, yeah, so... Sarah becomes a Terminator hunter because she has this information sent to her via these text messages and stuff, which is all very weird. And the text messages all end with, for John. So, yeah, which is odd. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, and Mackenzie Davis, um, when she, well, she's an augmented human, so she's like super badass person. Uh, she's uh, not a big fan of Sarah, um, as you see in the trailer, again. Um, but like she has another connection with regards to the text messages because she was told in the future to go to a coordinate which she has tattooed on her so that she doesn't forget it <laughs> and um, so they they basically come to a conclusion that these things are connected and they head to the coordinates and sure enough who do they find the T-800 the one that killed John um, which freaks her out and yeah and they so i it didn't really explain how they knew that that t800 about that t800 um but i i don't know it was interesting anyway um so yeah so that's how we get to be introduced to arnie um and <laughs> arnie is actually the comic relief in it he has the funniest moments he does have some pretty funny moments because he's trying to be human you know and it's interesting to see uh, a Terminator being that human 
I mean, we saw it a little bit in T2, I guess, with um, when he had the chip taken out so that he could just, um, like, learn and stuff. And John starts trying to teach him how to be a human and stuff. Um, but this time around, it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's really weird, but it's funny. It's good, though. It's really good. So anyway, yeah, so then, then on, and then like Arnie's got, like, an actual family, which is really weird. He's got a wife and a kid. And they explain how the kid thing happens. Obviously, he's a Terminator, so he can't reproduce. But he, they have a, like a non-physical relationship, which is really interesting. And he just, yeah, he helped raise her child because after he killed John, he just was aimless and looking for purpose. And then ends up seeing this woman who is getting beaten up by her husband and... Arnie jumps in there and saves her and the kid and yeah basically promises to look after her so yeah that's quite cool um an interesting spin so anyway yeah they all have to leave though because things become dangerous and then they go on the run again and the Rev9 ends up catching up with them um and yeah you get this mad like final showdown battle which is really really cool um and obviously you know all the players are there, right? And every everybody gets decent screen time and decent, like, fight scenes and stuff, which is really cool. Um, and then at the okay, and then at the uh, final point of the the film, um, obviously Arnie does his sacrifice again, which was well, you know to save the day, and also so does Grace. Grace fucking dies as well. I was quite surprised at that. Um, but yeah. It's it's really good. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling on about this film now. Uh, I'll give it my star rating, which is... I'd give it a solid four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, would recommend. Funnily enough, I didn't think I'd, I'd be saying this, but yeah, I would recommend Terminator Dark Fate. So anyway, uh, that's the end of this one. Uh, I hope you liked this and the, appreciate the new uh, sound. <laughs> and it's a bit clearer and nicer and not so... <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, headphone users. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I've talked enough bollocks for now. Like, so I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>